Well, all week long here on Nonstop Local, we've been sharing some bits and pieces of Connor Cron's military journey. Connor is a Native American airman stationed at Malmstrom Air Force Base who had to cut his hair in order to comply with Air Force regulations. Joey Taylor joins us in Great Falls tonight with more on how he never gave up his pursuit to honor his culture and serve his country. The days leading up to basic training are filled with anticipation and excitement for many. However, the day before shipping off to training was one of the worst days for Connor Cron. My father and I cut our hair together, so I cut his braid and he cut my braid. And you know, that was, was, it was an awful experience. You know, I felt like a part of me died, honestly, when I lost my braid. Connor is a part of the Mohawk Nation. In the Kanaki Haka faith, long hair represents spiritual strength and a bond to the creator. If he had to lose his, then I was going to lose mine. I just wanted to go and support him with everything he wanted to do, so I wanted to go through it with him. As much as mine means to me, his meant more. Now officially an airman, Connor completed basic training and technical training just two obstacles he would overcome to start that religious accommodation process all over. As soon as I got to Malmstrom Air Force Base, early July, before I was even assigned to a flight, anything, I went to my chaplain and I restarted the process. Four months of working with the chaplain and what was once a hope is now a reality. After nearly two years of fighting to get a religious accommodation waiver to be able to grow my hair again, effective immediately as of today, my waiver request has been approved. The video going viral on TikTok with over 82,000 views and thousands of shares and comments. This is such a huge, huge win because the more um, diverse representation that we have in the military, the stronger we can be as a force. First of all, I want to say congratulations to you on getting your religious accommodation pushed through. I'm an active duty army um, currently. And I've been going on for about a year and a half worth of my approval for my religious accommodation. But before posting on TikTok, he made a phone call. So, you know, when I called him, he answered like normal, you know. You know like, hey, what's up? You know, what do you need? I was like, you know, Dad, you're not going to believe that. I got my waiver approved. I was at work and I was just beaming. Um, couldn't stop smiling. Went around to everybody. Because everybody's familiar with him at my work. They're proud, they're proud of him and what he was doing and what he has been doing in the Air Force. And he's accomplished so much, you know, at 20 years old already. And those two years of never giving up is opening the doors for others who thought they would have to choose between their culture and their country. You know, keep your hair. You know, be proud of who you are. Be proud of where you come from. Be proud of your people, you know. You know, your hair is your strength. You know, don't, don't sever that. Connor tells me it's incredible being able to express his heritage while in uniform, and he's excited about what the next chapters in his military career will look like. And if you're interested in learning more about religious accommodations, you can go to our website, nonstoplocal.com. I'm Joey Taylor, Nonstop Local.